let me uh, get your assessment of the situation as it is now, because we are already pretty far into this crisis, certainly in Italy. How does it look from your point of view? Good morning, Matt. Well, uh, I think that uh, the situation is uh, um, quite uh, serious, obviously. I think it's something that all of us uh, need to take very seriously. In the same time, I think we should avoid uh, any kind of panic because uh, uh, the governments are taking the, the necessary uh, steps, and especially the Italian government was the, the first uh, one in Europe uh, uh, to, to take uh, very uh, strong measures to uh, contain, to limit, and to slow down the, the contagion. And obviously, uh, it, will be, uh, it will be efficient. Uh, it will be. It will slow down the number of cases. As you know, uh, yesterday uh, uh, also France took uh, more important measures to uh, uh, limit the, the contagion uh, as well. So, I'm. I'm not an expert. I don't think that uh, uh, we are now uh, reaching the, the peak uh, of, the, of the contagion, but definitely at some point uh, we, we will reach it if we uh, implement uh, with discipline uh, the, the decisions that, have, that are being taken by the, by the governments. Do you expect, though, Philippe, uh, you know, the, the, the health and insurance issues aside, that the economy in Europe falls into a recession, that we face not only a, a crisis from the coronavirus in terms of the human cost, but also a financial and economic crisis? Obviously, uh, short term, there is a, ne a negative impact, especially on the uh, retail business, on uh, tourism business, airlines uh, business, definitely, definitely. The governments have to uh, take the significant uh, decisions to sustain uh, the economy, to sustain the small and medium companies that could be in trouble. And all of the governments, whether they are the Italian government, the French government, they, they are doing it. Uh, so uh, the, the short-term uh, problems will be uh, uh, will be helped uh, by uh, the support. Of the of the economy of the of the governments, I think uh, medium term and, and longer term, uh, if um, the the crisis, the virus crisis, doesn't last too long, if uh, once again we implement with discipline the decision of the governments to 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 reduce the contagion, I think that uh, quite soon we could start uh, recovering. Uh, definitely, uh, the growth of the um, European countries and, and the other countries as well out of Europe will be uh, will be impacted uh, by uh, the coronavirus crisis. I'm not sure uh, it will it will become recession. Philippe, let me ask about your business. Um, you had a plan to grow earnings per share six to eight percent annually. Um, you still have, you know, dividend policy that hasn't been changed. Um, and when we see things like the World Mobile World Congress canceled or MotoGP canceled or, you know, soccer matches being held in empty stadiums, doesn't that make you want to revise your targets down? Well, first of all, uh, let me say a word about our 2019 targets. Uh, and the 2019 results, they are very solid, and uh, they make us in a, in a position to uh, uh, to cope with this very challenging environment. It's it's too early uh, to uh, measure the, the impact uh, on uh, on our business uh, in 2020. Our business is very solid. Uh, we are we have a very strong uh, distribution, and you know our um, business is very resilient because. Uh, what people are not uh, doing now uh, to, for example, to invest their, their money, uh, they will do it later. So our business can be delayed, uh, but it will not be reduced. And by the way, uh, the portfolio is still there, and the portfolio is still producing strong, strong earnings and, and, and strong results. So I'm not very much concerned uh, about uh, 
our targets. Uh, there is no uh, reason uh, as of today uh, to, to, to change our, our targets. We are going, obviously, to, to look carefully at the impact of the crisis. We are going to update our strategy if needed. But, you know, when you look at our strategic plan, it's still uh, very, uh, very valid, and I'm uh, quite confident that uh, we will be able to reach our targets in, in 2020. Obviously, we need to support our, our people. We need to support our uh, sales uh, distribution because, as I said, uh, it, regarding the new business, there is, a, there is a delay. But this delay in the new business may not jeopardize our ability to, to, to achieve our targets.